The reason we're on the Pacific side right now is to tell the stories of the Pacific side. The marine reserve that Mario is proposing protects all of Southern Baja. And it's important to protect both coasts because marine ecosystems work as one. The animals that leave the Sea of Cortez, they go around Cabo and they come up the west coast, the Pacific side. Right now it's one fully intact ecosystem. It's a holistic view, so we're trying to tell a holistic story. Almost everything eats sardines. Biologically speaking, the biomass of sardines is huge here. For the local economy, the fishing industries are mostly all sardine industries. That's what brings in the marlin, that's what brings in the tuna, which brings in the recreational fishing communities, the tourism, they're the cornerstone of the marine ecosystem. There's so many times in conservation that we study something when it's too late. We get the data that says, hey, this is critically collapsing. And then we protect it. What I'm trying to do is capture the sardines as their integral part of the food chain. You get out in the blue and they get in these little balls. You just feel their anxiety and their nervousness. There's schools of tuna, there's sea lions, there's whales. I mean, it's outrageous how many things sort of collide in one event that only lasts sometimes 20 or 30 seconds. Filming the bait balls off Magdalena Bay is not easy. Here we go, getting an early start. We're in for a long day on a small boat. We take little bean bags, we throw them in there, we try to nap as much as we can on the way out. And then you get out there and it's just, you're in the open ocean. I mean, I wasn't expecting to show up offshore and just jump right in the water with a giant bait ball of sardines. I knew that it was going to be a lucky encounter if we had it, but I didn't expect it to be like that quiet. You know, there's like not a whole lot to do in the middle of the ocean when you're just sitting in a pond and looking at blue water. It's a lot of just staring out in the distance, just a lot of like fingers crossed, a lot of hope. You just have to be 80% lucky and you just have to be 20% patient. You get a sense of it just being empty, but you know it's not. You know it's one of the richest, most diverse ecosystems in the world, our high seas. And we know very little about them. And that's what makes it exciting, that's what makes it challenging, is you can be out there just watching the clock, nothing happening, and then boom, one of the biggest wildlife events you'll ever see will happen right next to you. There'd be a moving bait ball, which is an ideal. It means like, okay, yeah, there's marlin, there's sea lions, like something's happening. But the sardines are moving so fast that by the time I emerged out of the bubbles, it's gone. Moving, yeah, I'm in. And there was like two days of that. The swell is really hard. Yeah. And I'm like, Jess sat me down, showed me the weather report, and there's a cyclone headed this way. What I thought was going to be one more week of trying to film the bait balls offshore turned into one more day. One more chance. You have one more chance. <laughs> Went out there with no hopes really of anything like happening and it was just like a quiet calm day and it was just one bird we saw. All of a sudden two, three birds joined and then we looked off to the left and right and the dolphins were headed and we were part of this like stampede like heading towards something we had no idea. We jumped in and it was one of the coolest most beautiful wildlife events I've ever seen in my life. A stationary bait ball. What we came to shoot. This was a bait ball of mackerel, and there was thousands of bonita tuna. It was like a ballet. Just the mackerel and the bait ball themselves was just this orchestrated, beautiful event. And to see this giant school of bonita tuna just come up and just feed, the sea lions were there, the marlins showed up. It was just like this spectacle. Within like five minutes, it was a sea of sparkles. There was nothing but scales floating to the bottom. Everything had left, there wasn't a bird in sight, it was gone, just like that. Just to witness the ocean that alive and that abundant is a sight to behold. These are ecosystems that are so connected, from the birds to the sardines that come out of the bay to the tuna that come up from the depths of the ocean. They all meet in one spot, and that's right here in Mag Bay during this bait ball run.